Do you know basic skills to perform CPR? It could be the difference in saving someone's life. Wayne 15's Brianne Boswell joins us now with more. Brianne. Good morning, Pat and Sierra. I'm right next door to you guys this morning with Olivia Lusher with the American Red Cross. Thank you so much for being here this morning to teach Thank us you. a very important lesson. You have been demonstrating all morning. Mm -hmm. I think I've learned enough that it's my turn. Sounds so, great. Before we get to that though, what, why is it so important to know these basic skills for CPR mm -hmm. when you're in any situation with young children, adults, mm -hmm. either or? Because no matter where you are, at the store, at a pool, or at a tin caps game, the chance of someone maybe being unresponsive could happen. And the best thing to do is to prepare versus repair. So if we can inform the community, young and old, on basic hands-only CPR, the community will be stronger. Okay, and then there's is hands only, but then there's other types of CPR mm -hmm. as well. And today we're only learning the hands, the yes. others with the mouth to yes. mouth. Today's just hands. Yep. And with so. hands only CPR, you could be trained anywhere. So if you let me know that you're interested, we can come to a team or a school or a pool, you name it, we can be there. The nice mm -hmm. thing about the training, it's really hands on and it's for like immediate use. If you feel compelled, you can get CPR certified, and you would do that through redcross.org. And we're learning on a bus this morning. So the bus kind of has the diagram here. Look, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm taking your spot, Olivia. Perfect. Look at me. So this is where you would put your hands if you were in the situation where you had to give CPR, your mm -hmm. dominant hand, so I'm right-handed. Mm -hmm. So I put my dominant hand down first, interlace my left hand. And you go down two inches for two 100 inches. to 120 beats per minute okay. and we're doing it to stay in alive. Okay, you get to sing it now. You ready? <laughs> uh, 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 staying alive, staying alive, uh, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Okay, I've only done this for a few uh, seconds uh, uh, and it's a uh, lot harder alive, than it looks. Staying alive, so when you, you did a great job. <laughs> so when you're first in this instance, you would certainly call 911. Absolutely. But you could be doing this for six to ten minutes, however long it takes emergency services to get there. And mm -hmm. it's kind of a lot of work. It is a lot of work. And the first thing is call 911, and then you start these compressions until someone with more experience than you comes, like the EMS. Uh -huh. But you need to continue. This is helping the blood flow to keep organs and making sure the body could be ready for for future, future health. All right, Olivia, thank you so much for being here thank with you. us this morning. I learned a lot this morning, and hopefully you guys did too. Live at Wayne 15, Brian Boswell, Wayne 15 News.